On this episode of TPC Retro Builds, former pro road racer Lucas User stops by with the frame of his very first race bike, and we're going to try and get it back on the road for him. My name is Lucas User. I'm a former professional cyclist, born and raised in Napa, California. I raced for almost 12 years. The bike has played a significant role in my life ever since I was a kid racing the BMX track, on to mountain bike races, and then on to my future uh, and now former uh, professional road career. And so it's, uh, the bike has always played this really key component in my life. This came into my life when I was 13. I was working at a bike shop in downtown Napa, California. Uh, somebody walked into the shop with it one day. I, I kind of fell in love with it. Came into the shop the next day and it was gone. I was, I was super bummed out because I was like, man, that thing would have fit perfectly. Turns out the shop owner took it, had it painted, built it up for me, brought it back like a week later. And, oh, and it was my first road bike. So I had a lot of connection with this guy. It was built by a frame builder in Sacramento. His name is Michael Johnson. I remember it was all white with his, his name on the down tube here. Um, tried to track him down, but, but can't seem to find him. Um, I don't think he builds bikes anymore, at least from the people that I've talked to. It has a lot of history in it, so it was Mike Sayers' old bike as well, uh, so another former pro. Uh, it was my original bike, and then I passed it on to about five other people mm -hmm. and tracked it down in 2016, so I've been apart from it for about 20 years, and so I'm looking to build it back up and, uh, and ride La Roica, California yeah, this sure. year. I've been a Shimano guy my whole life, so might as well build it up with well, some good stuff. Well, let's stick with that, some, we'll some Shimano parts okay. uh, around that era, like late 80s, early 90s, and uh, yeah, get it all correct. and. Looking sharp and yeah. back on the road. I'm a little terrified of the gearing. What do you think we're going to put on there? <laughs> You'll be fine, man. You're still strong. I'll be, all right, all right. <laughs> so Lucas's frame is from the early to mid 80s. So what we've done is we've sourced a Shimano Durace group set. Shimano made that group set for about 10 years in different incarnations. We got some real early stuff with exposed brake cables, single pivot brakes. We got Sinelli bar and stem from the 80s. We've got a classic roll saddle, which is iconic. Nisi Italian rims. So uh, yeah, it's going to be all period correct and it's going to look awesome. So for the wheels, we're going to call in one of the pros closet's expert mechanics, Chad Haig. He's going to get them rolling for us. We're going to take some measurements, order some wheelsmith spokes from a local distributor, get them laced up, tension and true, take about an hour. All right, let's get this build going. I feel like the bottom bracket is the heart of the bike, so I always like to start there and get that done first. You've always got to remember with these frames that bottom brackets were English or Italian, and English always do up backwards to what you would think, it's a reverse thread, so it doesn't undo when you're riding. Bottom brackets are amazing, they're sealed, you put them in and forget about them. It's not the case with this, it's an older one so it's adjustable. You don't want to have it too tight, but any play you've got in there you're going to feel through the pedals. At the Eroica rides they have very strict rules about what equipment you can and can't use, and index shifting is not allowed, so we're going to make sure we have this flicked across to the friction mode, so Lucas is going to be shifting with friction, and we've got a a 13 to 26 freewheel. Lots of teeth on the back because it's pretty hilly out there. Another thing they're very strict on with the Eroica rides is the use of uh, toe clips and straps. Lucas started racing right at the start of the clipless pedal era, so he's actually never used clips and straps. So it's going to be a little bit of a baptism of fire for him, but uh, yeah, it should be interesting. So one thing Michael Johnson did with this frame that I thought was really cool was the routing for the, uh, for the cables through the bottom bracket shell. It's a little hole drilled here, cable passes through. Pops out a little hole at the back. Everything's really neat and tidy. Probably pretty innovative for its time. And the, uh, the seat tube is kind of formed and squashed here at the bottom to give it a, a broader base at the bottom bracket to add some rigidity. So another thing with these Eroica rides is they really like you to have the, the old style exposed brake cables. From what I understand, Eddie Merckx always put his behind the bars. So that's what I do, because he was the king. That's another nice touch on this frame is the internal cable routing. I've always loved this. You always want to put your back brake over the front of your front brake, so it will rest on there. Awesome, well, that looks great. It all went pretty smooth. Yeah, man, turned out beautiful. Nice work. Yeah, yeah. I think Lucas is going to be pretty stoked. We'll um, get some tires on there, get it tuned up, and get him on the road. OK, cool. So here we are. We're rolling into Paso Robles for Aroica, California this weekend. We've got Lucas Users' Michael Johnson built race bike, his very first race bike. We've got a build for him. We're going to meet him here in the car park, show him the bike, see what he thinks. <laughs> Lucas! How are you? Hi, man. Good to see you. You have a good drive? Yeah, no tickets. Nice. <laughs> Want to see your bike? I do, yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> here she is, ready to roll. Holy. That's amazing. 
Just like you remember? Just like I remember, except probably cleaner now than when I uh, when I wrote it. So we know you've been a Shimano man all your life, so we built it with Durace. 80s Durace. We've got the iconic roll saddle. What? See the wheels, one of them mechanics built in the pro's closet. What model number is, it? is this? 7400. This whole process has been something that really reminds me of like where I've been, right? It's really gotten me to this point where now I get to, I get to enjoy this 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 bike that introduced me to road cycling. Yeah, let's come around the full circle. We can go and ride tomorrow and have a laugh and have a good time. Well, We've also got you a pair of 80 shoes. <laughs> Your feet are probably never going to be the same again. But, yeah. <laughs> How do these even work? That's some advice. Bang. Oh. Play guy. This looks like a torture device. Johnny, you guys really did an amazing job. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Really, really, really good job. And, and clearly, there was a lot of effort put into this and, and tracking the parts. And I think one of the, my favorite parts about this story was actually tracking down Michael Johnson. Uh -huh. Like this guy who, who, for five years in the early 80s, built bike frames. One of the best parts about this is he sourced all his material from military surplus stores. Oh, really? Like, like wow. none, of, none of this steel was purchased from a factory. So these aren't actually bicycle specific tubes? No, he, he found all wow. these tubes and hand cut each one and, and put these like these beautiful welds in here. And he's got these like little signature pieces where this like the rear dropouts are cut, right? And this like- The this, cable the, routing. The cable routing uh -huh. and the little point internal here cable and the internal here. cable routing. He, this was 40 years ago before we did internal cable routing. C was convinced it was never gonna work. And here I am, 40 years later, it works just fine. And, and to top it all off, I have a little, little treat. So I actually uh, tracked down the frame builder himself, as we talked about, but he, he went the extra mile and uh, no got, got decals. <laughs> wow. These are 40 year old water slide decals. Nice. But I have no idea how to put on, <laughs> but I'll figure out at some point. Well, let's work it out. Let's go ride it. Sounds good. When the pros closet first came to me about this project, I really thought it was about myself. I really thought it was about my career as a pro cyclist and where I had been, but I recognized as I went down the rabbit hole of finding the frame builder, Michael Johnson, and working with the pros closet to source all these old Shimano parts, it really had nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with this, this bicycle that we had, we had found. And as we come together here at Eroica, California, it's, it's all of us around this one common theme, the bicycle.